Okay, I think that is, we are good to go. Okay, hi everyone, it is February 13th. I just can't even believe that I'm saying that, um, that it's February 13th. And I'm really, really excited about tonight's call. But before we get into that, um, I was just gonna go over a few announcements. If you haven't listened to the National Wake Up Call, make sure you do and you put that on your priority list. Um, they talked a little bit about some changes that were gonna happen, some very positive changes. I'm gonna be doing a live video on the team page as to why I believe it's such a great change for our company. Um, one of that being said that Shakeology HD is now gonna be two points for Success Club, which is awesome, uh, which that can really, you can really focus on someone's nutrition part of it. There are a lot of people in the world that don't wanna add workouts into their, extra, I mean their plan, that's just the truth. Um, and they wanna focus on their nutrition and so I'm really, 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 really excited about that. Um, there is also some changes with the on all access on demand challenge pack. And remember that is going, they, they, they kind of inferred that it was going to be throughout the year. So like they kind of solidified that price. Um, he would, he didn't promise that it wasn't going to raise, but he did say, um, excuse me. They did say that, um, it's probably going to go through the rest of the year. Um, at any given time, the company can raise it. I don't think they'll do that to us, but that's really exciting. The all access on demand challenge pack. So please listen to the national wake up call um, because it also has coaches, new coaches on there that are giving kind of their success tips. Um, and then make sure you're checking in with your team cup people. If you are not part of a team cup, um, make sure that you are focusing on your four battle behaviors each day. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Marco Polo, but <laughs> I am using Marco Polo. Marco Polo, I didn't know about it two weeks ago. So if you haven't heard of it, you're not like behind on anything. But Marco Polo is just like a, um, an inner, like a walkie talkie. It's like an app that's like a walkie talkie, but it shows your face. So think of it like uh, a video that you're sending someone, but it doesn't, it doesn't have any length limit. So it's like you can just press play and you like have like a video and you're like voice messaging. So all of my team cut people are in the same group on a walkie talkie and we're checking in with our vital behaviors every day. I don't know if any of my people are on, but um, it's been really cool to see their voice, hear their voice. And then you can click this little button that makes you talk really fast. Like, so when they're listening to it, it's like, hi, my name is, but you can understand it, but you're checking in. So it kind of is an awesome thing because it doesn't have a cut, a limit. Hi, Mandy. Mandy's on my team. Doesn't, you don't have a limit as to um, how long you need, you're going to be on it. And then it's just a really cool way to communicate. So I'm thinking of maybe doing that in the future with some of my new coaches, checking in with them every single day with their vital behaviors. I think that that's something that just be thinking about that. Okay. So. I am super uber excited about today. Um, okay, one more thing, Cassie, sorry. Um, this week, if you looked at the calendar, this week is kind of crazy for our team. It's the first ever United Legacy retreat. Um, I am taking 10 people in our downline to Arizona. I'm super uber excited. Um, it's something that I've been on my vision board for a really long time. Um, and I'm really excited about that. So that's Thursday through Sunday. So I have asked some coaches to step up as leaders in the team page. So uh, you'll be seeing a little bit of that. I'm really excited about that. And um, I can't wait to come back with, um, I don't know, just excitement and like passion and purpose. This is something that it is business related in the sense that these are all people I met through business, but it's more friendship and relationship and I'm just so excited. So if you know someone going, check their page out. Um, it's going to be really, really exciting and fun. So shout out to those girls who um, made it. And then shout out to Christine Gillis. She's on the call right now. She made it to the leadership conference. She is heading to the leadership conference, not this weekend, but next weekend. If you don't know what that is, it's a two-star uh, qualification that you have to make. You have to make a certain amount of points. And I know that she was working really, really hard to earn the points to make it to go that they, that they would pay for her hotel because you have to have a certain amount of elite points. And I, I believe you hit it. She was really excited because she hit it because her Canadian – flight was really expensive. I don't know how you're doing up there, but it looks like a blizzard. Anyhow. Um, okay. So those are the announcements for the week. It's only the middle of the month. Speaking of you and your business, um, please don't put yourself in a box and don't get discouraged. I want you just to be positive and focused. One of the things I've been really working on is, is bringing joy back into the business. One of the things that gives me the most joy is watching leaders on this team rise up like Cassie, um, come out and just have this fire in their belly and this belief system that has changed. So Cassie will introduce you. Um, Cassie, just so that you know, 
is actually very young. I think she's young. <laughs> she's 20. She's not even 21. But um, she's actually my babysitter. I know that sounds strange, um, but she's basically an extended part of my family. She comes on most of the trips with me. I'm going to Europe this summer. She will be traveling with me to help my help with the kids. Um, she went to Hawaii before with us, and it's been an amazing experience to watch her blossom into someone that wasn't quite so sure and now really, really crushing it. She hits success club every single month consistently. She's a full-time student. She now knows why she wants to do this um, long-term, and I've really seen a mindset shift in her, and so I asked her to get onto the call. I have no doubt that if you just listen, you guys will get goosey bumpies because Cassie is um, someone that's very inspirational, and I'm really, really excited because um, it's kind of like she's my little sister and I have like really, my heart is pounding and I'm just like, oh gosh, oh my gosh, because I know it's going to be so awesome. So without further ado, Cassie, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Cassie, um, you are up. You are Okay. Um, so everyone, my name is Cassie Halen. Um, and as you can probably tell or imagine, I'm, I'm nervous, but I'm excited because, um, I was able to... I mean, I get to see Kiana whenever I'm back at home, um, and I, she's like my family. I love her kids. I know it's weird, but I love her kids like they're my own kids. And um, uh, anyway, so we're very close, and we've had lots of different conversations and being able to support each other. Um, I always joke that I'm like a 30-year-old and a 20-year-old body. I just have, I'm just... And if you've, some of you, I've met some of you at Summit and that kind of stuff. Um, I have no problem communicating and fitting in with um, older people. I just, I'm just a little bit more mature and um, that kind of stuff. But I'm really excited to share um, kind of how my belief system and how my mindset has shifted over the last year. Uh, I signed up as a coach in January of last year and I, so for some more background, I've been an athlete my whole life, and um, my senior year of high school, um, I was planning to go play soccer, um, Division One soccer in Colorado, and um, basically I, I tore my ACL for, I tore my second ACL, and uh, my, I know Christine, you're recovering, but I have torn both my ACLs, and have had four B surgeries, and um, I don't want to say that it has been uh, my soccer and my, you know, college athletics was taken away from me, but that kind of triggered a new um, course that my life was going to take. So anyway, I'm, I go to the University of Oregon. I'm in front of Oregon, um, so not too far from home, but I, last year around this time, I was really looking for a change. I wasn't, I wasn't necessarily gaining a bunch of weight. I wasn't necessarily like depressed. I, I have an amazing, you know, support system and amazing friends. But I was really looking for some more structure in my life and, you know, something to do with, you know, all my time. I want to have a lot of free time. I do work and I, I have school full time, but. I really was just kind of looking for something else, and um, I also come from a single mom family. I'm just, I'm just giving you guys all my backstory, but I'm a triplet, and I have two other siblings, so there's a lot of us, um, and my mom raised us, raised us all, and she kind of has given me the, the mindset to kind of build yourself up and to kind of um, do things for yourself, and I, I, never, I wouldn't say I never had a lot, but I knew I always had to work for things that I wanted. And then come in Kiana, um, I, she's been in my life for like three or four years now, but um, I saw on Facebook one day, I knew she was something with fitness, but I honestly had no idea. I never asked her. We've had like a bunch of conversations about it, but I never really knew what it was. So she posted her income one day and I was like, whoa like it was her from the day she started to four years later and i saw it and i'm sitting back here i was a freshman in college at the time and i was like hmm 
Kiana did that in four years. Now I'm a freshman in college. And if I stick with this for four years or try this out for four years and see what happens, you know, what, what, what could this possibly do for my life? So I, from, from the beginning, have always had a long-term mindset um, because I've always kind of wanted to see that success in my life and kind of build something that my family and um, that I haven't really had in the past, if that makes sense. Anyway, moving on. So basically what I wanted to say there was that I've always, I've always had a long-term mindset and I've always, I'm very, very competitive. Um, I definitely get that from my, you know, my past in sports and stuff. But um, I really did, I have always had the mindset of being here long term. Um, but it wasn't until I, around summer, actually, a little bit after where I was kind of, I was still hitting success club because I knew I needed to do that. I, I, I knew I needed to help three to five people every month. That was just a non-negotiable. Um, because one, I could always use the extra 100 bucks, 150 bucks, and I always wanted to keep my groups running and going. Um, but I started to kind of, I don't know, it, it was just, I would like not really know what to post on social media. And I like, I didn't have very much confidence when I was talking to people. And it was a time I was getting a lot of no's, and I was getting, it was just kind of, it was just kind of a negative um, slope, I would say. And um, I don't remember really what, like there was, if there was one thing that kind of set the fire in me again. But what I did when I got back to school this last September was, um, you know, I really recommitted to my fitness journey again um, and really committed to working out regularly. I always kind of did, but like, I was really focusing on that and I was really kind of reeling in on that. And then I, it was with Court of Force and I, I don't even, I don't even know what was the one thing, but I knew that there was something that happened in my brain that was like, this is incredible. You know, I don't understand why anyone wouldn't want to do this. I'm getting amazing results. I'm working out for 30 to 40 minutes in my, I work, I, I, I literally work out in this space right here and uh, in the middle of my room. And I, I just, I would constantly think to myself, you know, why wouldn't anyone want to do this or to experience this or to experience this change? And I was becoming so much more confident in myself and in you know, my results, and it's just like, and then I just like started, and then that set the fire to, well, I don't get why anyone wouldn't want this, so I need to start telling every single person that I know, or that I possibly could talk to about this opportunity, and then the all access pass came out, and it just started going from there, and then, um, I mean, Kiana, feel free to interrupt if I need to add something, but I, um, I really just started to have that belief in the products. And um, I feel like that is definitely kind of what sparked in everything else. Um, and once I had that belief in the product, it kind of reeled me in to have belief into why I signed up. I mean, it was, there was an income motivation at the beginning, but I really do love helping people. My major in college is in human services, and that's literally a major to help people. And I've had that since before I started coaching. I just love, and I, I especially have a heart for little kids. Um, but I love helping people feel good about themselves and to love themselves again and to get confident. And it, it took me almost a year to have this mindset mindset shift of coming back and reeling it in to having belief in everything I do. You know, I have like a long list that I'm going to go off of, but um, number one with everything that I, if, if you guys could take anything away from this call, it is to reel it in and believe in what you're doing and you need to believe why you're here. 
because once I started to have more belief in the products, I became more confident in almost every part of the business and every part of my life. I had belief in myself. I had belief that I was worth it and that I had something to offer and that I was unique. And then I had belief in what I do as a coach. I had belief that these products will change your life if you commit to them and I am here to help you commit to them. And I had belief in my mission as a coach. I had belief that I want to reach out to every girl my age that struggles with self-doubt and you know appearance issues and confidence and you know once I believed in my mission that's when things like talking to people in my social media posts and everything just kind of blew up and I would say this happened in about December and January um, of this past like these last past two months um, and then I kind of want to talk about what belief does for your business you know belief gives you confidence in your mission that once you believe that this is the best solution out there and this is an amazing solution, you will have confidence in telling people about it. And you will have confidence in, you know, if someone asks you on the street one day, you know, what do you do? Well, I help people reach their health and fitness goals online. Okay. It's, you have so much more confidence. And I definitely got this um, in the last couple months. I had so much, I've had so much more confidence in what I, um, you know what I offer um, and then you have more confidence in your why you have more confidence in your conversations in overcoming objections in reaching out to new people that you don't know it all just comes back to that belief in what you're doing and why you're here um, and then you know this really changed my mindset from being overwhelmed with the business because I know something i can say to everyone is we all start from the same place we all start signing up and not knowing what to do and seeing these coaches out there like those body eagles those amy silvermans that are making millions and millions of dollars and they make it look so easy and you don't know how you can be there and or how you can get there or what to do but you want to be successful you know it just comes back to simplifying the process and simplifying what you know why you're here um so that mindset shift it starts with belief and then that belief turns into confidence and that confident turns your confidence turns your mindset into being able to simplify the business um so now i kind of want to turn this into setting yourself up for success um i am a pretty organized person or i like to think that i am um i'm pretty tech savvy in um, using things on my um, computer or phone because I'm pretty mobile and um, that kind of stuff. But from an organization standpoint in setting myself up for success, um, one of the things that I have really loved using recently is Google Docs. So um, I will share this with you all in the team page after this. Uh, because it will be, I think it will kind of blow your minds a little bit. Um, and I also am kind of a nerd, so I have a lot of stuff in there. But basically, I have folders in Google Docs, and I have like a personal for all my schoolwork, and I have a beach body. I almost want to like draw a picture, but I'm not going to do that. Um, and then in my beach body tab, I have a, you know, my PS coaches my groups that I run, my- um, Hey Cassie, are you on your computer? Are you on your computer? I'm on my, I, no, I'm on my iPad. I can, can actually show. Can you share the screen? Can you see this? No. Can you share your screen? No, because I'm on my iPad. Okay, okay, I just wanted to make sure. Keep talking. I, I'm gonna share it, I'll, cause you, once people see it, they'll understand what the folders are. But basically I've organized everything in folders and, um, Google Docs, you can get the apps on your phone, so you can access everything from everywhere. So one thing that I love that I did in there is I made a social media folder in my Beachbody folder, um, and that goes from personal invites to um, challenge group posts to challenge group. Like I have everything in one place, and 
it makes it easy for me to copy and paste from my phone or copy and paste from my iPad or copy and paste from my computer or wherever I am. So I will show you what I mean and then you guys can kind of use what you want and um, use, you know, use it for ideas of how you can organize your business tools. But um, Google Docs has definitely been an incredible resource for me uh, in organizing all of the things that I have on my computer because it is a mess with all my schoolwork and um, the things I put together for my team and my coaches and my challengers and all that kind of stuff. So um, Google Docs is huge and getting organized, you guys, is such, you know, it's so important because one thing that you need to remember is that this business is only complicated because you make it complicated. And this is something I definitely did. And, you know, all of us need to go through that phase, but simplifying the process for you will make it so the people that you sign up or the people that you talk to, it'll make it simple for them because it's simple for you. You know, you'll be able to kind of preach simple. I'm trying to make up a word over here, but, You'll be able to preach simple when you... It's called duplication. I was going to say that, but I was like, I was thinking of some other word. Anyway, um, uh, let's see my notes over here. Oh, I do really want to talk about social media in a second for setting yourself up for success. But one thing uh, about being organized in Google Docs, it really just comes back to the, you know, the duplication thing and having systems in place where you can go from and you don't have to, you know, and one thing you do need to remember is that you don't need to make up something. You don't need to make something from scratch. We have the um, online office training that is amazing. You know, I am have been here in a year and a half. I'm still going in there and seeing new things. There's new things being added all the time. Um, and it's, you know, Kiana has training. Kiana has a Google Docs that everyone get, can plug into right away. But, you know, having those systems in place in those first, like, five, the first, okay, I'm interrupting myself again, but the first 30 thing is a game changer, if you guys don't know what that is. The first 30 is amazing. Um, and uh, that's an amazing system, especially when you're signing up new coaches. So you, if you guys have, if you guys don't know what that is, you need to go into the app right away and um, see what the first 30 training is and get familiar with it. So you can not only do it yourself, but you can um, help your coaches do that too. Um, Cassie, where can they find this? In a coach online office. Okay. The Thank you. 30, it's all in there. Okay. Um, Thank you. Everything's in there. Under training. Yeah. It's under training. Okay. Uh, I can't remember exactly where it's through the app, but I know yeah. if you go on through the desktop, um, yeah. the it's all there. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but um, now I kind of, another point for setting yourself up for success um, is, and from, I want to kind of go into a social media standpoint because I think that my presence on social media has gone from zero to a hundred in the last two months. And one that is, that really has been, you know, stopping because of my confidence and my confidence in my mission and my confidence in um you know what you know why i'm posting things every day about you know, my psychology or my workouts and this coaching on the so, i want everyone if you don't have any, um, 10, sorry sorry but it oh no you're good Kiana. um uh, if you don't have a pen and paper out right now, you need to get it out because I have three things that people should know every time they see your social media. Okay. So if you have on, if I'm only on Instagram, I mean, I have Facebook obviously, but I don't really use it, my Instagram at all. I mean, my Facebook at all. But with one or two scrolls on your feed, people should know these three things. They should tell that you are a coach. You know, that's one thing. They, you know, if people don't know that you are a coach, then how are they supposed to know that you can help them? Okay. Next thing, people should see your face. 
people should know, you know, be able to get to know you a little bit. Um, you are, your business is through you. People need to get to know you because that will make them, um, help, that will help them decide whether they want, you know, to, to join you, okay? Um, and then the third thing is that they, by scrolling through your feed, people should tell um, that you have something for them to join. You know, how are people supposed to reach out to you or comment or respond to you if they don't even know that they that you have something for them to be a part of? Okay, so um, those are kind of the three things that, especially the, uh, the point about they should tell that you are a coach. Now, one thing that I want to you know make sure I point out is that. You don't necessarily need to post Beachbody Coach, hashtag Beachbody, hashtag Insanity Max 30, hashtag, you know, Beachbody Coach, Beachbody, whatever, everything, you know, because that can kind of be a little aggressive sometimes. But people should know that you have, you know, that you are here to help them and that you um, have a solution for them. Um, and that's kind of where I want to talk about social media, but that's one thing that has definitely changed my business, I want to say, it's because I went from having no people reaching out to me to having, I have about, I've already in the last couple of weeks, I've had 15 people that I've never met reach out to me for help. And one, that's because I've been around for about a year and a half, not a year and a half, about a year now. So people kind of, they know I'm kind of like the real deal now that I'm, I wasn't just in it for a couple of weeks or months. but. I am posting every day that I, ha I have these workouts that are amazing, that I'm getting these amazing results, that I believe in what I do, that I love talking to new people and helping them. And, you know, I want people to reach out to me because I just have so much, you know, information to try to help them. And that's kind of what has changed things for me. Um, and, um, yeah, so... There's the social media, you know, people should tell that you're a coach. They should be able to get to know you a little bit with one scroll. And um, they need to tell that you have something for them to join. Um, so I want to kind of finish off what I've been talking about or this call with defining your goals and your business on your own terms. because. Um, I'm 20 years old. <laughs> I have a lot, you know, I have a long way to go in this business and I have, um, you know, a lot. I mean, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just really young and I know, and I know I'm new to this, but, um, I have been trying to preach this to my little, my little team in team cup and, you know, the new people I talk to and even my challengers is, you know, my goals aren't going to be the same as Kiana's. My goals aren't going to be the same as someone who's, I don't know, like 50 years old, just because our lives are in completely different spots and we're looking for things in our lives that are completely opposite or different. And, um, you know, it, you know, your goal can be to hit success club for the next three months. Your goal can be to go five star, six star elite. Your goal can be premier. Your goal can be diamond or just emerald. But I just want to make sure that I kind of help you guys, you know, I kind of leave you guys with this to think about is that your goals can be whatever you want them to be, but it takes you starting in one spot and kind of getting to work and you know getting your belief system right and getting your confidence in this business and your mission and then that kind of will branch off into where you want to go with all this um and, and you know i mean you hear kiana every day talking about the vital behaviors the vital behaviors will be so easy for you when you have that belief system and you have that when you know that that simplified process um for yourself so it obviously takes work and it takes you know believing and it takes you know having a mindset that you want to be better and that you know that that 
you know, your success isn't going to come by itself, but um, you have to figure out, you have to have a point A to get up to a point B. So, um, yeah, I guess I don't really have that much more to say, but I hope this helped you guys. And, um, yeah, just have belief in what you're doing and why you're doing it and then go from there. Thank you, Cassie. You're so <laughs> I, what'd you say? I said you're so welcome. Yeah, thank you. I know that. Um, end it. <laughs> <laughs> I know the one thing that um, I've seen a big change in me, like we talked about, is this this mindset shift. This idea that if anyone else can do it, why can't you? And I think that we always think of this person can't. Like you look at people as a competition. Sometimes we look at people like. Oh my God, I can't believe I can never do that. When really we could say, we should look at people and be like, oh my God, I can do that. Like, you know what I mean? Because they're just a person and there's no difference between you and them. And I think that once you realize that, that you have all the tools. Here's the thing is everyone starts from square zero. And the one thing I have to constantly remind myself is everyone has the same tools. Like we all have the same back office. We all have the same training. Yes, there are uplines that are better than others. Let's just be truth, truthful with that. Um, and there are people that you are given and there's things that you're given and there's things that there's trainings that you have, but understand this, that I've done every training there is possible. And I've worked with a lot of coaches and the bottom line is, is when coaches want to be successful, when they really, really, truly want it, they make it work. They may not make it, they may not make it, they may look, make it look easy or they may, may like, you know, have to figure things out and they may struggle for a little bit. But if, if you really, really want it, you figure it out by either talking to other coaches, asking people about their trainings, trying to figure out. But the bottom line is, is you'd be shocked how many top 10 coaches use the back office for the training. I swear to God, like I, I'm in the, I'm in the five star wall. They talk about it all the time. It's like they, they say over and over and over that we overcomplicate things that we've tried to create all these new trainings and all this different stuff. I mean, I've gotten to the point where I've recreated my trainings like three times and I'm like, <laughs> Uh, I just need to spend more one-on-one -on -one time with people. And that's the bottom line is I just need to spend more one-on as, 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 as a coach has been around for five years. It's really just about spending more one-on-one -on -one time working with the willing, giving people, okay, here's your next step type of thing. Um, but people are going to figure it out and you just need to work with the willing. Um, and I know sometimes that's frustrating because sometimes you haven't found the willing, but I think that when you change your mindset, like Cassie has said to, this is amazing. Like, why wouldn't you want to do this? You're going to start to attract the people that look at you and go, wow, if she can do it, so can I. And they have a positive attitude. And if you lead with the products and you lead with your love of the products and you lead with a solution-based relationship, um, it's pretty awesome to be able to have people come to you for help, um, which I think is pretty cool. And then off, one of the things – go ahead. I want to add with what you're talking about with overcomplicating. You know, I literally – within – two or three months of the business, I was like trying to create my own training. And I was like, Cassie, why are you trying to create your own training when you don't even have any business builders yet? Like, I was just so like freaking out that I, I needed things to be like so unique. But you guys need to remember that you don't. And the best training is already out there. The best training made by the, by the best, you know, coaches in the business and you know the creators of Beachbody is already out there you don't need to create it for yourself and that's one thing that has helped me so much because that is so much more time that I can spend you know on myself and my personal development on my own journey and talking to new people because I'm not wasting time trying to create something that you know is already there <laughs> right, and you can be very confident in offering a new coach like have your steps, like my steps are tag them in the team page, have them walk through that pin post, have them do those five things. And when you do go through those five things, then let me know. And now I'm having a verbal com communication with you about walking you through what I call the like a boss training. That's what I'm doing is I'm walking my coaches through the like a boss training. Um, and that like a boss is or walking them through the back office. Like, l let me know after you go through day one, what do you think? Let me know after you go through step two or whatever it is that you want, but just have a system in place where they know how to communicate with you, um, you know, and if you're the one that's always checking on the people and checking on the people that are not doing anything, then that's on them. That's not on you, right? You can't get, like, that, that's the thing that you just got to let it go, and then you just got to work with the willing and put yourself out there, and I promise you, you'll start to attract the right people. But one of the things um, 
that is so awesome to see is the fact that you don't let the fact that you're 20 years old get in your way because I've heard it from both ends. Like I'm too old beach bodies, like for, for younger people. And then I've heard it like, Oh, I'm like your age. Like I can't do it because like no one my age has money. They're all in college. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, that's what Cassie could say. All the people in my, in my age bracket are in college. And then there's people that are like, oh, you have to look a certain way and act. That's, I, I, call, I call BS on all of that. That's all excuses. Um, you, brand, you get to brand yourself. In the, thank you for my kisses. You get to brand the self in your business, which is so exciting to me that you get to attract and build people, uh, find people like you. And that's the really cool thing is Cassie is going to attract way different people than me, obviously. <laughs> Um, she's not going to probably attract hot mess moms because that's who I am, but she's going to attract her own tribe. And that's, what's really cool about this is that you can brand yourself, get excited about attracting people like you. Um, but I will tell you right now that the more confident you are, the more confident you are in your invites, the more confident you are in this business, the more confident you are overall, the more confident you are in general, um, the better the results going to be. And it does take time for that confidence to build, but the only way that confidence is built is by doing. And don't just sitting there, not doing nothing, but sitting there. Like, you know, one of the main things I want to remind you is that having conversations with people is great, but having conversations is not inviting. Okay. Having conversations is a great business, is a great relationship skill. We need to do that in this business, but if you're not inviting them to this opportunity or trying to help them or inviting them to a challenge group or becoming a coach or to a free group, you're not inviting them at all. And it's like all these people think that they're having these conversations, which is great, but they're not inviting. And when you're not in, and not confident, there is a confidence skill about inviting, but you don't just wake up one day. Some people have it. It's the truth. Some people just don't care. I, I, I honestly have signed coaches that just don't care and they're just super confident and bada bing, bada boom, they're signing people, yada, yada, yada. They struggle in other areas, but they're really confident in this. Okay. And then this most, however, most of the percentage of people are like, I don't know how to invite. I don't know what to say. I just, I just don't want people to feel like I'm a salesman. So don't be a salesman and just invite. Be excited about it. Be, you know, um, invite to the opportunity. The worst they can say is not right now. Um, and in general, I think it's something that that confident is built. I just love your shit. You're just like matter of fact. Like I just, I think more of us could take on that matter of fact. Like I have this awesome solution of this awesome thing. And if we thought more that way, then we would attract more, you know, the, the right kind of people. And I think that it took me a really long time to get there. So to see you do that in a year, and I'm telling you, all the coaches that I see in our team that are strong success club earners or people that build strong teams are people that are constantly inviting with confidence. Does that make sense? They don't care. I'm going to call out Christina. She's exactly like that. She's constantly inviting. She's really, really, really confident in her invites. And that is attractive because if I was not in this business, I would be like, I want to see what she's doing. You know what I mean? I mean, that's, that's, that's the truth. We know that Christina has a strong social media presence and does those three things that you talked about, which is yeah, but like, literally, I just like when you're talking right now, I'm inviting and I just got yelled at by Facebook that I'm inviting too fast. So, like, <laughs> which just know. means, which, <laughs> which means that she's sending invites out so much that uh, it, they think it's a machine that's going like, you're doing this too fast. Take it, take it. I'll just throw this little feedback out there. Cause I do have a strong social media presence. I, I ran an event. I have over 300 people that say that they want to be in my boot camp. I haven't had one person. I had 80 people apply to be in my boot camp. Not one person signed up. So it doesn't matter how many how how many invites you send out there. You ha I have to send out more. I'm not I'm not getting people to sign up. So they're not the right people. So I need to sign more or you know sign more. So that's what I'm doing, and it it stinks, but it's the nature of the business. People, some people aren't ready, so you need to find people that are ready. <laughs> Which is a perfect example of. Someone that either can be like, holy crap, I have 300 people I sent this to and no one's saying yes. Oh, woe is me. This sucks. My things suck. This is whatever. She's just like, nope, I'm just not, I haven't found the right people. Just invite more. Um, and then it's like, oh, where do you find people? Oh, you just figure it out. Like you start, and like I know that she, she was talking earlier. Yeah, okay. I know that you just figure it out. It's, not, it's nothing. One thing that I always learned in this business is everything is always figure outable. 
I heard that one time a leader said that and I was like that is golden everything is always figure outable. you don't always have to know everything um, and I know like some of my new coaches want to know things right away and I remember as a new coach I was like I got to learn everything all at once I got to do all these trainings I was like a knowledge sucker I wanted to like learn everything but it actually inhibited me that prohibited me from like actually just doing the basics which is learn something new each day and then do your four vital behaviors and then build the confidence by doing your personal development, having those conversations, inviting. Um, and that's really what you need to focus on. Um, does anyone have any comments or questions or concerns or whatever? Fill in the blank, I guess I should say. <laughs> uh, the one thing I kind of want to say after, you know, Christina and you is like, you know, someone says no, then you have to have that mindset. Well, okay, it sucks for you. <laughs> Like, I mean, like, this is not, obviously you don't want to be rude, but you need to be like, well, I already know that this is the best thing out there, especially with the on-demand, all-access. Like, there's nothing better than this out there for you to get results, and if you don't want to do it, then, okay, I'm going to go find someone else that wants to. So, you know, you need to, you can't be upset or sad that someone doesn't want to do it, and, you know, which also goes back to your social media. It's like, you need to be showing people why this is so amazing, and why, you love it so much and what it's doing for you and the people you're helping because that's when people are going to come crawling back to you like oh, okay I think I actually do want some help um because this is just seems so cool you know, yeah I've had this whole mindset shift and I know it's like five years in the business I should have figured this out a long time ago um but I'm like so like into this like this is my community and I hold the key to my community and you either get in it or not and not everyone, I'm not inviting every single person into my community. So if I invite you and you say no, then I didn't want you in my community anyhow, and you weren't going to add value to my community. So I'm the homeowners association. People have to pay their dues in my community, which means we give and take in my community, which is like considering my challenge group, my accountability group. And like, I just was talking to a girl today. I was like, how are you feeling about this community? She's only been in it three days. And she said, it's the best feeling she's ever had because she feels like it's a give, like she's giving and adding value and, and then I'm giving and adding value and then we're giving and taking. Um, and they, they feel like they're important. They feel like they're an important part of my community and it's something that I want to make very special. So when I talk, if you look at my social media in the last three weeks or four weeks, it's really shifted from a challenge group or a accountability group, which is fine. And I know like Christina uses the word boot camp, which she has her MO. You're going to find your MO. Um, people have no clue what a challenge group is just to let you know people don't know what that is They're like a challenge. I don't know if I want to be part of that, you know accountability group they do but um But like a community they're like, oh, that's kind of cool So I'm talking a lot about my community. So it's really it's I just feel like you need to share your truth and what's working for you in your life and don't try to do anyone else just be honest with where you're at and be happy get excited about something and talk about it Okay. Okay <laughs> Um, cause I feel like when I'm, ex what's wrong? Your toe? Okay. Kiss your toe. Okay. Um, when I'm excited about something, uh, people can feel it. And when you're genuinely excited about something, like when you generally wake up in the morning and get excited to like, I can feel the shift from like having to wake up in the morning and feeling like I have to talk to people and have to invite versus getting up in the morning and be excited to invite to my community. Does that make a difference? Like, do you understand the difference? There is a very big difference. It's like me, last thing I'll say, it's like me as a teacher. I had a fifth period class in high school and I could not stand it. I was like, this is the worst fifth period class ever. Every day after lunch, I remember exactly who was in that class. And every day after lunch, I was like, I can't stand it. Do you think they liked that class? Probably not because I wasn't excited about it. I didn't want to be part of that community. I didn't want to be in there. So if you are not excited about what you're doing and don't want to be part of your own community and you think it's boring in your challenge group or you think it's like, oh my gosh, this is not exciting, figure it out. It's figure outable. You can get better at it. You can get passionate. Sorry if you're if it sounds like I'm echoing because my daughter is like in that now, but you can figure it out. And I feel like a lot of times if something doesn't work, that's fine. It didn't work, so try something new. If a post bombed, that's fine. Try something new. If, uh, if someone ignored you when you sent them a message, don't be like, oh my God, they don't like me. Be like, too bad, you can't be part of my community. Like you said, sucks for you, moving on. And that's really this mindset that I've shifted because I don't want to spend energy on people that don't deserve my time. Every, every, time every, every minute that I work this business, 
I want to be intentional about it. I want to work with you guys. I want to be on the phone call with you guys. I want to work with my coaches or I want to be working with a person that has a little bit of gives me energy and I give energy back and it's a give and take. So, so choose your time wisely. Um, know that you have value. You offer a lot of value. Don't sell yourself short. Rock your confidence and understand that the foundation of this business is built upon confidence in your invites. It really is. And that comes from personal, the four vital behaviors, personal development, sharing your truth and your story. Like Cassie said, she had, she started a program and really started to love it and talk about it. Um, I will tell you nine out of 10 times if you're not um, excited to post about something about a workout, it's probably because you're not like doing something like from start to finish. You're just kind of hopping around and you're not figuring it out. So work on your own journey um, and share that because I think that's something that will be really important to do. Okay, it's 6.46. I'm going to let you guys go. I wanted to share with you guys. Um, Cassie, I feel like she, um, I know you're nervous, Cassie, but you gave a great insight as to like just the basics. It's a, very, a great reminder of just the basics. She is about the sweetest person in the world. I know for a fact she would answer your messages. Um, stop. And Cassie. Cassie. <laughs> I don't know if Cassie has a success partner. I'm calling her out. But if you guys don't have success partners, I feel like it's really important in this business to chat with people about success, um, especially if you have the same um, – you don't have to be the same rank or the same, like, like – in the business, you just have to have, like, connect in some way. Like, whether it's, like, a mom or whether it's, like, you know, like, whatever. Because my, my, my partner and I don't necessarily have the same business goals. Uh, but we got it. But we have each other's back. I hope that makes sense. And it's something that it's awesome to have. So if you guys don't have any questions, I will let you guys go. Share this with um, anyone that you think will add value. And Cassie, thank you so much for spending your time with us. I love it. It's, it was so basic and so easy. She gave you three tips about social media going back to the basics. Um, and I love it. It was just like, I just decided that, that I, I needed to be confident. Like I just made a decision, which is really cool. Something that we can all do. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. So I will post the recording tomorrow and you guys have a great night. Oh wait, everyone smile before you get off. Yes. And you send this to me too. I will. I will. Let's see. I'm going to go like this though. <laughs> Tell your babies I say hi. Okay. Smile. Okay. Now I need to take one of you guys. Cause you guys can't see me like you want that okay ready smile one two three oh so cute okay okay thanks guys talk to you later bye-bye